guys what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Casey and if you are new please take one second go down below hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you won't miss when I post a new video so as you guys can tell by the title um, I am going to be just talking to you guys a little bit about my journey to being able to live on my own at 23 I just posted my apartment tour so I figured this would be a good time to kind of talk about how I got in the position to be able to have it. I know a lot of you guys have been following me for a while, so you know, but I know I have a lot of new followers. Hey girl, hey. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my journey, things that I've learned. I'm actually getting ready to do my makeup just to take some pictures. So I will put everything that I'm using on the screen, but I will not be talking about them because that's not what the video is about. I've already done my brows and I've already primed my skin. So I'm going to jump into foundation and we can start talking. Oh, one thing before we start, I got this new brush from Real Techniques. It's supposed to be like a dupe for those really expensive like artiste brush brushes or whatever. I'm so intrigued. I want to see how this applies to my foundation. Okay, so let me just say a little bit about myself for those of you that are new. So I am originally from Baltimore, Maryland. I was born there, grew up there, had my whole life there up until 18. Um, I moved to Miami to go to Florida International University. And when I moved there, or when I moved here, I went to the South Campus. And the South Campus is in kind of like Sweetwater area, Southern Miami. Not Southern, but like West Miami. So I went to the campus down there for about two years for my freshman and my sophomore year and then i went to the north campus which is located in north miami for my senior and my junior year so i just wanted to oh my god this is so soft <laughs> i just wanted to say that because i know a lot of people were thinking that i moved to miami like just by myself well i did move by myself but people think i just came here just to come here and moved into an apartment right away um it wasn't like that like i came here for school so it was honestly extremely easy for me to like meet people and adjust because it wasn't just me like i was on a campus i didn't have a scholarship or anything like that but i did live on campus and so I didn't like move to a different state and start paying rent right away like it wasn't like that I had a lot of financial support through college um, I had a job I worked I worked a lot of places during college I worked at Bloomingdale's starting my sophomore year of college making decent money my junior year I started working at Nordstrom making really good money and then during my senior years when I started working at Apple which is where I still currently work, making decent money. And then on top of that, I was also doing YouTube throughout my entire college career. I started doing YouTube when I was in high school, so I just kind of continued doing it through college. And that was also bringing in a lot of money. And on top of that, um, if I needed it, which was rare, but when I needed it, I always had my parents' support. So I don't want it to come off as though like, you know, I just did everything on my own because I would definitely say I worked hard, you know, with working and being in school and doing YouTube. But whenever I did struggle or whenever I did have a hardship, my parents were there. You know, I never really went through a point where I couldn't have something that I needed or that I wanted because if I couldn't handle it, my parents would handle it. I just always had the mindset of. You know my parents have done so much for me already like i don't want them to still be paying for things for me through college and beyond which is what motivated me to continue working and doing all that even while being in school because i wanted to learn how to sustain myself so fast forward i graduated from college in may of 2019 so that was last year wow this looks really good and my skin does not look the best right now so for this to have smoothed this on like this it's bomb but yeah um so after i graduated i knew i wanted to stay here i didn't want to go back home um i wanted to stay in miami because who wouldn't want to stay in miami so i had a roommate her name is kira a lot of you guys know her i had a roommate she was my roommate my freshman year of college and my sophomore year of college we weren't roommates my junior and senior year because she was still at the south campus i moved to the north campus but we were still friends like we still hung out all the time and so because I was so used to living with her, um, she's responsible, you know, we're really, really close. We decided that we wanted to get a place together immediately after graduation. So that is something big that I would recommend too for getting your first apartment. 
have a roommate it makes everything so much easier especially if you're in a different city and you don't have family there it just feels good to have a roommate you know so we had planned for that um we knew that we wanted to get an apartment together after we graduated so pretty much starting like seven months before we graduated we started saving money racking up on money really really important um, i wouldn't say there's a specific amount of money that you should have it's good to have at least three months worth of whatever rent that you're going to be paying just as a safety measure i personally had about eight thousand dollars saved by the end of my senior year to be able to have an apartment and luckily for me that's when my youtube really started to take off so i was able to save more i was able to um save and still have money to pay the things that i needed to pay which honestly when i was in college was not much all i had to pay for was for food and for gas so and I pay for my books most of the time. I still had a lot of wiggle room to save, so I did. So we um, started looking for places. We ended up not getting a place inside of the city of Miami just because it was so expensive. We moved right outside of Miami um, in a city called Pembroke Pines, which you guys probably saw our apartment tour that we did when we moved there last year. And we split everything. So what made it really good for us was we were both fresh out of college. But immediately after college, she had a job. She had a full salary job. She was doing internships throughout college too. So she was set. And then of course, like I was saying, I was doing YouTube, I was getting sponsorships. I was working at Apple. So, you know, financially we were good. Like we really had no worries. And so for us to also be able to split the bills instead of, you know, like getting separate places, it made it that much better for us financially. So some of the things that are very important when it goes to getting your own apartment whether it's with a roommate or without your savings of course like I mentioned you just want to have a good amount saved something that feels safe doesn't have to be a specific amount you also really want to have some established credit now I didn't really start to understand the importance of credit until after graduating college but I had watched something that was like if you're in college get a college card because it'll help your credit and you know they don't teach us that stuff in high school and college like the credit and stuff so i didn't really know but i just went ahead and got a credit uh, college credit card just to have one i knew that i'd be able to pay it off right away because of the amount of money that i was making so i got a credit card through wells fargo a college card they gave me a decent limit i think my limit was like a thousand a month which for a college card is pretty good but even if you can get a 500 hundred dollar credit limit it's better than nothing and usually if you're a first time card holder and you're in college they're a lot more lenient which is why i really recommend getting a college card while you're in college because if you wait until after college you can't get a college card and it's even harder to get a credit card so that's pretty much how i started to establish my credit was with my college credit card i would use that during college i tried to use it more so like a debit card so I never spent more than I knew that I'd be able to pay. So I would pretty much use that for um, like groceries, gas. Right after I use it, I'll pay it. Use it, pay it, use it, pay it. Because that's how you build your credit. So that's pretty much the only thing that I had on my credit, but at least I had established credit. And I got that during my junior year. So by the time I graduated, I had about a year's worth of credit history, which is decent. And when you try to get an apartment, they're going to look for that. They're going, they're going to look to see if you have some credit history or they're going to require you to have a co-signer or a co-leaser, I guess you would say. So it could be like a parent or a guardian or someone that has established credit. Another really important thing is income. So I know that right after college, a lot of the times it's hard because you don't get a job right away. But if you're going to be trying to get an apartment, you have to prove that you make a certain amount each month to maintain the rent so just as an example for the place that we ended up moving to you had to make at least three times the monthly rent as a household so my salary plus her salary together had to equal three times the monthly salary or three times the monthly rent so our rent there was 18 something and so 18 something times three was five something so we had to prove that together we pulled in five thousand dollars a month which we did but not a lot of freshly college students do so you have to be really smart about the places that you apply to live at because you don't want to try to live somewhere that's above your means you don't want to try to live somewhere that like i said requires a certain amount of monthly income and you don't have that depending on what your career path is or your career choices i would definitely say try to get a decent internship a paid internship before you graduate just so that way you can have income even if you don't land an actual job 
uh, right after college. I always say it's good to have a job in college, but I know that a lot of majors are very demanding and it's not easy to do that. Luckily with mine, it wasn't that demanding. I was in communications. So back to the first apartment after college story. So like I was saying, we split everything. So we split the rent, we split the utilities, we split um, the cable bill, we split the money that we spent on furniture we split everything and when i say it made it so easy oh my gosh i literally couldn't imagine having to pay as much as we had to pay by myself especially fresh out of college even with the money that i was making so having a roommate if you can is big so when it came to the bills and stuff um I'm not even gonna sit here and act like it wasn't difficult for me at first because it was. There were honestly a lot of things that threw me off because all through college, I really wasn't paying bills like that. And I was making a lot of money, but I wasn't paying bills. So I would just kind of spend my money. But when I got my apartment, I had to discipline myself and learn how to budget so that I can have the money that I need to pay my bills. Even with splitting my rent, like there's literally a bill for every freaking thing. And then even within your apartment complex, they charge you for every freaking thing. So like. My apartment complex that I lived at with my roommate before, they charged $30 a month just for them to come take your trash. $30. Just to put it into perspective, um, even with splitting the rent, which was like $18.20 or something like that with her, uh, my monthly bills in total was probably probably around seventeen hundred dollars with splitting the rent um my half would be like nine something and then splitting the fpl bill and splitting the at t bill or back then we had comcast and then i also had to pay my car payment of course i had to pay my car insurance i was still on a phone line with my mom but I would still send her money for that bill. So I would pay my phone bill, pay it to my mom for her to pay. And so, like I said, my total bills was like 17 something. And some months it was okay because I would make three or four times that. But some months when my sponsorships weren't that good or my videos didn't do that well, I would go through it. Like I sometimes just, I'm gonna be honest, every month, miraculously it just happened for me like i would get a sponsorship at the last minute before rent was done was before rent was due or i would get like a random check from my clickable links that would cover the rest of my bills for the month like every single month like i don't know god just came through for me and i was able to do it but i don't feel like i really had enough money saved as i thought that i needed just for like life things that you don't really project that will happen like having to replace your car tire or I don't know you lose something that you have to replace so the hardest thing for me in the beginning was definitely being disciplined with my money because when i would have extra money i would think that i actually had extra money and i would just spend it but it really wasn't extra money it was money that i should have been saving so that i would have it in case something did happen and i struggled with that but like i said i just had to discipline myself now the reason why i haven't done like a budgeting video is because i don't have a typical budget like my income varies every month like it's very hard for me to budget myself in a very strict way like in a way that i'd be able to present to you guys which is why i don't do it but if you have like a fixed income every month i would definitely suggest taking that fixed income breaking it down to the bills you have to pay and then figuring out where you can save on top of that and there are like tons of budgeting videos that'll help you like walk you through that but for me like mine is so complex and it's so abnormal it's just not easy for me to present it to you guys. For me, it was more so trying to teach myself the discipline that I needed as an entrepreneur or whatever, to know that not every month was gonna be a good month, you know? And I had to learn how to make sure that I was prepared for that. So the lease that we signed was for 12 months, for a year. And we actually moved in like two months before we graduated just so that we would have time to settle in and we would be able to like gradually move our stuff out of our dorms and because they were doing a promotion I think where we get the first month for free so yeah we graduated in May but we moved into the apartment in March of last year so of course after the 12 months are over then you have to decide if you want to re-sign the lease or if you are going to move they actually tried to raise our rent 
from like 18 something to like 24 something a month and we were like what we were like um hell no a lot of people ask me this as well no i do not live with kara anymore we decided to get our own places because she decided to move in with her boyfriend and i always wanted to have a two-bedroom place where i'd have a room like this just for filming so it kind of worked out in our favor for her to be able to move with her boo and then for me to be able to have a place to film like i always wanted now because of the lessons that i learned before about not saving enough I tried really hard, not, not even knowing if I was going to move by myself or not, but just in general to save as much as I possibly could. Still wasn't easy. There were a lot of things that happened last year that um, kind of messed up my savings goal. But luckily I was still able to get this place. And something else I want to be really transparent about is that when I moved here, I had help from my mom. Like she helped me with some of the initial fees, like the administration fees and deposit fees and stuff. Like I don't want you guys to think that I'm just doing everything on my own because it is the majority on my own. But I have luckily, thank God, so blessed <laughs> to have a family that supports me in anything that I do. And if I need help, they're there for that. With the transition of moving from a roommate to having my own place, which cost the same amount as the place that I had with a roommate, it was a huge transition for me. And so um, in the beginning, my mom definitely helped me out because on top of me paying for my rent, which is double what I was paying before, I still have to pay FPL, which is the electricity. I still have to pay for my car. I still have to pay for everything else. So she definitely helped me in the beginning. I will not even sit here and try to claim that as a self-made thing because she definitely helped me. And the thing that made it easier for me as well was Kira and I had already bought a lot of furniture together. So we just kind of went through and decided who was gonna keep what. So like she kept the coffee table and the picture from our old living room. I kept the couch, I kept the TV. We split things from the kitchen area. So this time around, um, I didn't really have to buy that much because we already had a whole apartment together, you know? And so I was able to just buy extra things that I needed. And then like I also mentioned in my um, apartment tour video, I was approved for a Wayfair credit card, which is another reason why credit is really important because you can use that to buy things. You know what I'm saying? Like you're more, you have a higher chance of getting approved for like a credit card for furniture or whatever. So I got a Wayfair credit card and a thing I really like about it is that they offer um, like this plan where you won't have to pay interest and you can pay for your furniture in installments. So there's just like a fixed amount that you pay every month on the credit card and then you can pay it off monthly until the promotional period is over and you won't have to pay interest on it. So I took full advantage of that. Like most of the furniture that I purchased, I got from Wayfair. And just to be completely transparent with you guys, I only pay $100 a month for everything that I bought. <laughs> and then I can always just pay it off whenever I want to, but at least in the beginning, I only have to worry about paying that $100, no interest in its installments, so it doesn't affect my credit. So a lot of people were asking me, like in the old video, if we were still friends, and of course we're still friends. We just decided to, you know, get our own places, move on our own. And I feel like with us being fresh out of college last year and having a place together, it was such a great transitional year. Like it was the year where we were able to like learn adulting before actually doing it on our own. So I highly recommend having a roommate fresh out of college if you can, cause made life so much easier. I can't stress it enough. So now being on my own, um, just to be transparent, because I know people are gonna ask. I pay about 2,500 in total in bills every month. So that's rent, that's the FPL or the electric, that's water, that's my car payment, the insurance, the phone bill. Um, what else do I pay? Ooh, that highlight, oh. Oh, mind you, I also pay for my business email, I pay for my blog to stay up. I pay for a lot of editing apps. I pay for um, the website where I get my music from. So like that 2,500 is like everything that I pay to live basically and everything that I use for like my business and stuff. And that also includes like my credit card payments. And so obviously everyone's bill threshold is gonna be different depending on what your income is like 
uh, where you live because I live in Miami so it's not cheap. I just put a little bit of too much blush on. Oh crap. And also if you're thinking about moving to Miami, don't. <laughs> I am about to put on these lashes from Netta Rose. Oh my god. These lashes are bomb. Do y'all see this? <gasps> wow. And they fit my uh, eyes perfectly. Like my eye shape. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what lip I want to wear. But yeah, long story short, y'all. I worked my ass off. <laughs> like, I really worked my ass off all through college. Truthfully, when I look back at it now, I'm like, how did I even do that? I literally be like, how was I a full time student? And when I worked at Nordstrom, it was full time. So, my junior year specifically, I was a full time student and a full time employee and doing YouTube consistently. Like, I was pulling in bread, y'all, but it wasn't easy. And then from there, honestly, I was just very smart about my money. I made sure to keep my credit right. I made sure to save. I truthfully don't have extremely bad spending habits. I almost forgot to put on eyeliner. I'm like, something looks weird. And even though there were months where, you know, I was cutting it close and I wasn't sure, like, I just stayed faithful. I still, I just stayed optimistic i said optimistic i stayed optimistic and things just worked out in my favor mindset is huge it's huge you cannot doubt yourself you cannot doubt your situation even if you don't know if it's gonna work know it's gonna work like in your heart just know just convince yourself that it's gonna work and it will Whew. i haven't done my makeup literally in like two and a half weeks and i feel like that girl right now <laughs> all right so that is all i got for you guys hopefully this was helpful in any way shape or form i'm honestly really not good Ugh. i'm really not good at giving advice about stuff like this because i just did it like <laughs> it's hard to say how i just did it and i stayed faithful i guess what i really want you guys to get out of this is just do it Whatever it is you're trying to do, just do it. As long as you're optimistic, as long as you stay faithful, as long as you manifest that, it'll work out for you in some way, shape, or form. It might not be exactly how you plan it because, you know, the way things are for me right now is not exactly how I planned it. But it'll all work out some way in the end. And if it doesn't work out yet, it's not the end yet. I'll be showing you guys my hair tutorial tomorrow so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully i will see you guys all in the next video bye